This is a very interesting demonstration. It's a dissectable capacitor, and it's designed to show specifically where the charge in a capacitor lies. And a lot of people who are really college-level people, it kind of amazed me, think that the capacitor charge is on the plates or that the capacitor charge is in some way actually found on the plates of a capacitor. And, of course, we know it to not be the case. Uh, people who are in the know, basically electrostatics is almost a forgotten science. This is a piece of mylar, five, a 7 mil mylar, and I've created a capacitor here with two plates, the bottom plate being one, of course. We insert a dielectric, which is mylar right here, and we put a second plate. We've created a capacitor. And this capacitor will kill instantaneously if you're not careful. So this is not the kind of experiment you uh, would casually do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this capacitor by taking this supply and connecting the hot lead right onto the capacitor itself. You can hear that. That's 7,000 volts charging this. By the way, this capacitor is almost a 0.01 microfarad, and now it's charged to 7,000 volts. And to show you how much energy is in here, this is grounded, and that is nasty. That will knock you on your butt. Um, and... Let me charge it again. Okay, it's now fully charged. And I take these insulated handles, overcome the Coulomb force, and then, oops, obviously there was never any charge on this metal at all. Oh, sure. The dielectric, no. <laughs> the dielectric, we can take out of the capacitor. We can roll it up. Pass it around. As a matter of fact, I've mailed a friend of mine one of these to, Cal to uh, uh, Alabama, and he reassembled it down there. The, the charge is retained in there, and obviously there is no charge whatsoever also in the, the other plate because that's ground. That runs right straight to ground, so there's no, no charge there at all. As and a matter of fact, I'll touch both yeah, plates. Yeah, both plates together. There's no, there's never was charge there. Okay. Where'd you put it up? And if you got across both those, it would knock you across this room. So if you turn the plastic sheet upside down, the charge would be opposite. Would reverse. Yes, it's just like the cells, and uh, and it. Uh, so if we take two pieces of plastic. Okay. Somebody hold that for me. There you go. Line that with the other piece and put it on there. There you go. Perfectly. That's great. Okay, so we have two pieces of plastic. Now let's charge this new capacitor. Okay. And just to convince ourselves it's charged, it is. Okay, let's recharge it. Okay, turn that off. When you lift it up, Richard, can you feel... Yeah, there's a tremendous Coulomb force that you have to overcome, say, and there's no charge here. And likewise, I can take one of the dielectrics out Hold on to that there. Okay. Right here. Put that on there. Pile. You heard it go tick. Take this one off. You might hold that for a second. Put this one back on. And you heard it go pop there too. Okay, now let's put it back together again. What if you take it and put them back together? Opposite? That's the next trick. <laughs> we put these back on here. Okay. 
like so. Recharge the capacitor. Once again, definitely charged. Let's recharge it. Okay, now we'll take this off. Man, there's a lot of Coulomb force there. Okay, flip the plate over. One of the dielectrics over. Put it back on. Nothing. Flip it back over again. Put it back on. <laughs> so the charge is in the, the, charge is in the dielectric at all times in a capacitor. And so with that case, and so many people, and obviously they say it's due to electron orbitals, but if you remember, the key discussion is that you can have a vacuum capacitor where you have no material product because space, the vacuum, has permittivity. Um, which is uh, sigma O or epsilon O. Hey, uh, Kim, uh, E sub O, E sub zero is, uh, what Greek letter is that? That's epsilon. It's epsilon sub O, and that's a permittivity of free space and allows space itself to be charged without any electron orbitals. So the fact is that you, the dielectric, the non-conductor is the source, uh, the retainer it retains all charge, not the metal plates. Metal plates never retain a charge.